Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. It's what I've been warming Wednesday and we skipped last Wednesday and I didn't do one of these. So I have two weeks worth of things that I've warmed in my home over the last couple weeks to share with you today. And so a lot of the ones in today's video are things that I got in my last haul that I posted with like the fall trio of scents and with the uh, Harry Potter bar and with the October scent of the month, Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. So I do have warm reviews on all of those things coming up in this video. And yeah, the idea behind these videos is to give you warm reviews and let you know how things did in my home, where I warmed them, how they did. So you might decide what might work well in your house or what you might want to try. One thing this week is that I have been doing a very large wax war. Um, we have done, we're doing the spiced apples. It's coming up this week, um, probably Thursday. There's still a couple bars that are in the warmers going, but they should be done by Thursday. So you guys voted for the spiced apples, so thank you for your votes. I know some of you are excited to have Wax Wars back, and I'm excited to be doing it again. So we have got the granddaddy of all Wax Wars coming up with spiced apples, because I went through the catalog, and I had to actually just do spiced apples in the catalog, because when I wanted to do, like, Jack's Obsession, which is also a spiced apple, couldn't do it, because with the catalog bars, we have, like, nine cents of spiced apples. So there are nine spiced apple scents in the catalog that I've put to the test in the wax war. And I will let you know about that this Thursday. Other news I guess would be that Holiday Bricks for Consultants are launching today. As I'm filming this on Wednesday, those are up this morning. The website crashed when I, before I could order mine. So I'll go back and check in a little bit here um, and get my bricks. And then I'll be able to get those and sniff you and sample them out and all of that good stuff. But in the meantime, we will just hop in so I'll start with bathrooms. I did four scents in the bathrooms over the last couple weeks. The first one, and probably my favorite maybe, is Wild for Fall. This is in the Harvest Trio, which is still, oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, so yeah, I don't normally go for pine tree type scents, but this one is so orangey and so delicious. It makes me so happy. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, it is like a Douglas fir scent, and I do get fir as opposed to pine. Um, to my nose, fir is a bit more realistic and less perfumey in home fragrance. Um, but you get a hefty dose of Satsuma orange. Um, Satsuma is like a type of mandarin. It's very juicy, it's very bright, it's very sweet, but not candy-ish. It's a very realistic orange type scent. I love this, and the performance on this was amazing. So I did one cube in each of our bathrooms. It lasted three or four days each time. And yeah, it was just good. It was just really, really good. The first day or so, the orange note was the most present note. And then after that, the citrus wore down because citrus does tend to not last as long as other notes. Pine tree scents do last longer than citrus. So over time, after the first day or so, the orange kind of came down a bit. The pine tree stayed steady. And it was just a really beautifully well-balanced scent. Like I really, really enjoyed this. And as far as like a Christmas tree scent goes, this is about exactly what I'm looking for from a pine tree scent. Um, Scentsy has done so, so, so many pine tree scents over the years. This is my favorite one, hands down. Um, so if you're a person who doesn't typically like pine tree scents, but likes the idea of a pine tree scent, um, I would try this. I just love it, like just love it. So I'm probably gonna stick this in my club. Do I need three bars a year? I don't know, but I will kind of gather a little stockpile and see how I do. So that's my plan with that one. Loved Wild for Fall. Pleasant surprise. Next I did Hendrix. I did two cubes, one in each bathroom. And this one again, this is one of those ones that just goes on for days. This was in Bring Back My Bar a couple rounds ago. And it is like patchouli, I think sandalwood and like tobacco flower. But it is smooth and well-rounded. I almost think there's a little bit of vanilla here. Because especially with some age, it's gotten just a bit of a creaminess to it. And I think it's vanilla. It's nice. It's a really nice patchouli scent. You do have to like patchouli, I think, to like this one. Um, it's aging beautifully. It's gotten like deeper and richer. It's just really nice. And this is one of those ones that you put in and it goes for days, like four or five days. I think I did this for like a full week, as a matter of fact. I think I couldn't smell it beyond like day five or six, but it was really, really good and we really enjoyed it. And it's one of those nice ones to just kind of set it and forget it for quite a while. So Hendrix, I love, not available now, and I don't know if we'll see it again because it is a patchouli scent and a lot of folks don't tend to love patchouli. I like patchouli. It's something I have to be in the mood for, 
but this is a really, really good patchouli. So Hendrix was a good one. I do have that one in my club. Or do, or do I? I think I might have taken it out. I think I might have taken it out because I have a few bars of it and I only use it once in a while, so. Then I did jammy time and I just did one cube in our bathroom. This one's nice, it's nice and strong, does well. It's still in there right now. It's been going for a couple days. So longevity wise, it's a nice one as well. I like scents for the bathroom that you can just kind of put in and forget about because I don't like to mess with the bathroom scents. They're just not as exciting to me. I like to change my open layout every day or two, but the bathroom, the longer it can just like let itself go, the better. So. Jammy Time has traditionally been a year-round catalog scent. Um, if I remember right, we don't have this in the fall winter catalog. I don't think. I don't think so. I think this was one of the ones that was a big surprise and they took out of the fall winter catalog and we're hoping it comes back in the spring. But right now, I don't know. So Jammy Time in wax is a good performing bar. It is still available in the brick. I know that for sure. Um, so if you want this one, it is available in the brick through Scentsy Club. And it's like a clean laundry, sort of sweet, powdery. It's a very difficult to describe scent, but it's clean and fresh and powdery, soft and cozy. Next in bathrooms, I felt like something perfumey. So we did Flower Child, one cube in each bathroom. And this one is just pretty. It smells like, some people say Juicy Couture perfume. I've not smelled that, I don't know. Um, to me, it smells like a very sweet kind of like perfumey scent without being overly floral, without being overly headachey, despite being a flower child, it's not overly floral to my nose. So I find this one quite pleasant. I have issues with performance with this one though. So I've done it in my bedroom before and I enjoy it. I found it very light. So I thought in the bathroom it might do better because it's a smaller space. Um, no, it didn't. It was about a one dayer. And like I said, for bathrooms, I prefer a longer lasting scent. But it was very pretty. It was just very much a one dare and not very strong. I would say like light, light, medium. Whereas the other ones were on the stronger side. Wild for Fall was, I would say, strong. Like very good, like boomer performer. This one, light. Then on to the office. Now I did some testing in the office. And one of the things I tested was Maple Rum Cake, also from the Harvest Trio. Yes, and this one is like brown sugar caramelization. It's got like just the teeniest, like two or three percent of spice. But mostly it's a very rich, dark, deep, heavy bakery scent. Very gooey, very nice. I prefer this much more on warm than I do on cold. So if you get this and you're kind of like, eh, I was kind of like, it's okay when I first smelled it on cold, like it's okay. It's not bad, it's not great. It's not what I expected and hoped it would be, but it's fine. Um, on warm, it's very good. So this one, yeah, on warm it developed, that gooey note came out more, which is what I was hoping for. Um, it became much more of like a decadent, kind of like gingerbread cake type dessert. It was very good. Um, I may buy more of this. I have the rest of this bar and one more. That might be enough for me, but we'll see. I might get more of this. This one is quite nice. And I think it's got good potential for all through the fall and in the winter. I think this would not be out of place during the holidays. Because like I said, it's almost got gingerbread vibes to me. It's not as spicy as gingerbread, but if you're a person who likes the idea of a gingerbread scent, but doesn't like a lot of spice, this might be the way you do that. And performance wise, it was about a day and a half, and I would say about a medium strength. Next we have Harry Potter, Wizarding World. This is the new one. This one has all kinds of interesting notes. It's got like apple and citrus. And what else is in there? I put the notes below on all of these. But this one is fantastic. So, yes, oh my gosh. I'm liking this even more as we get further into the fall. This one smells, this one smells like a fancy Victorian gentleman, but mostly like sweet sugared black tea. And like, just some like sweet kind of apple -y, citrusy type. Like I do get the apple and citrus here, especially initially. Um, this one lasted for like three days. I did take it out at the third day because it went somewhere I didn't like, um, but you could still smell it. So this one is very strong. I will say I would use less wax than you normally do. I did two cubes in our bedroom and I found it too strong. I actually turned the warmer off for a little while because it was giving me a headache because it was very strong. Um, but if you just 
use one cube, I think you'll be good. More bang for your buck anyways. Um, but I love this scent. Like, love this scent. It is, like, deep and colonial a little bit, but not, not in the way that you might be thinking. Like, it's not cologne in a typical modern men's cologne scent of today. It smells more like cologne from, like, a Victorian gentleman. Um, so that's what I get. It's, like, old-fashioned and, like, I don't know, cr not crisp, maybe crisp. Crisp and austere is what I would say. It's very nice. I love it. Strong performer. Very long lasting. Um, as the time went on, it became more and more like day two and three were like that beautiful sugared tea. And there's no tea in the notes on this. It doesn't officially smell like tea. But this to me smelled like sugared black tea with like a bit of a nice perfuminess to it. Like it was just nice. Like I have a perfume... Um, that smells like this and it's one of my favorite perfumes of all time. It's called Dorian from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. They no longer make it, I don't think. I think there was like component issues. Either way, it smells like that and it's very, very good. Love it. This one will be one I stock up on. Um, I don't think I'll club this only because a little bit goes such a long way. And so I'll get another bar and I'll have lots. And I think it's going to age well. This type of scent tends to age well. I suspect this will age very nicely and I also suspect that we'll see it back at some point because it's part of the Harry Potter line and they do tend to kind of bring those collections back regularly so I will stock up on this one but it's very good. If you're afraid of cologne scents but you like the idea of smelling like your home smelling like a Victorian library this one's a good one. I would try it and also if you're trying to fill a large space and you have a very challenging space to scent I would try this one. It's very strong. Next in the office, I did a mix. Now, last Bring Back Bar, my bar, we had French Toast. And French Toast is like a maple -y French Toast scent. I don't love it. To me, it smells like hot glue gun or like burning wires, but mostly hot glue gun. Um, something about the maple note in here is just burnt to my nose and I do not care for it. I think it's the way, it's a very specific cinnamon they've used in here and the way it interacts with the maple, I just do not like. Um, so this one is getting, I don't care for it, and I wanted to find a mix for it. So I thought two fall bars that you can't go wrong with, and these two mix amazingly together, is pumpkin cinnamon swirl and pumpkin roll. Together or separate, these two are amazing. Like, they're fantastic. So pumpkin cinnamon swirl is a very, like, bakery type, like, frosting-y. Yeah, it smells like cream cheese frosting, a little bit nutty. Very light spice on this one. It's mostly like a like fall pumpkin frosting bakery scent. It's very, very good. Pumpkin roll is more like a pumpkin cake to my nose. Yeah, I get like a cake note and just like the tiniest hint of spice as well. It's not an overly spicy one to my nose. It's like a nice like yellow cake and pumpkin scent. So those two together are perfect because you've got the frosting and the cake. Amazing. But I thought it would be fun to do like a pumpkin fall breakfast French toast with frosting scent. So I did one cube of French toast, one, every, every video, <laughs> I have to drop them. Um, one cube of pumpkin cinnamon swirl and one cube of pumpkin roll. Um, so those three, three cubes, one to one in the same warmer. It was kind of just okay. Like I feel like, if anything, French toast just kind of brought it down, and I don't know how, because these two on their own are a fantastic mix. Adding French toast not only didn't add anything to the scent, it also kind of dampened the goodness of this scent. So this might be one of those cases where mixing isn't always the best idea, because if you mix a bar you don't like, you A, end up with more of the bar because it stretches further and it lasts longer, and B, it can actually dampen some of the scents you do like. So that's one of the cons of mixing, is it can improve scents you don't like, but sometimes it just dampens scents you do like. So in this case, that's what happened for me with this mix. Um, I didn't find it to be overly long lasting. It was like a one day kind of mix. And that is typical of this mix. This is like a one day type mix. Um, it was one day, it was pleasant enough, but it was more pleasant. It's been more pleasant in the past when I've done it without French toast. So I would not do the mix again. Um, 
I'll throw this little cube in a warmer at some point just to use it up. Maybe buckleberry would be good to mix with this. Um, but yeah, love these two, highly recommend. I personally don't care for French toast, but a lot of people do. I think I'm in the minority for sure, not liking French toast. Um, but yeah, that's just me. The next thing I did in the office was Huckleberry Hideaway, and it was just because I wanted to give some more attention to some of the new release scents that I haven't warmed more than a couple times. And I didn't love this one so much when it first came out, so I decided to try it again and see if it's changed. If it's changed, it's more of the violet leaf note and more of the bitter pungent notes than before. Um, if anything, those notes are deepening with time. And I did find on warm, when I warmed this when I first got it, it was very much like a berry scent at first. And then it kind of gradually changed over time. Um, this time it was a berry scent, yes, but it was more of that violet leaf and that very earthy note that I didn't care for so much, even out the gate. So I'm not liking how this one's aging. It's getting more earthy. Um, and to, I don't mind earthy, but I don't care for this earthy. Um, yeah, I didn't care for it. And I, when I went into that room, just forgetting what I'd put in the warmers, went in there to like do something or something. And it was just like, it smells musty in here, but it's this, this is the mustiness. Um, it just has a mustiness to my nose. I don't care for it. And I will not repurchase this bar when I'm finished it. I do have three cubes to go. And onto my daughter's room. Um, in our bedrooms, I haven't done a whole lot of any kind of wax really, because I've been mostly doing the, uh, bring or the, uh, wax war scents. So most of the last two weeks has been warming wax war scents. So it's been a lot of spiced apples in the bedrooms. Um, but I did kind of break it up with a couple things here and there. So in my daughter's room, gimme candy, um, September scent of the month. I love this one. It's my favorite scent of the month of the year, at least so far. Um, it is like a caramel candy corn. It's got like honey, caramelized sugar, and like frosting. And it's so good. It is so good. This time I just did it on its own, didn't mix it, just two cubes in her room. And it was a nice two days of just caramelized sweet goodness. And it's like very strong at first. The first day it's very strong. I would say like seven out of 10. And then after that, it becomes very light, like maybe a two or three out of 10, but it stays the, at the very light level for quite a while. Like it lasted a couple days. So was impressed with that. Love this one. This is going in my club, love. Black Current and Plum, again, in keeping with my wanting to test things that are new releases more. Um, I finished up my bar of this, two cubes in her room. And this one is like a like kind of body care, not quite perfumey, but body care-ish. It smells like a nice lotion or a nice shower gel. It's very sweet, a little bit musk. Yeah, it's a very like sweet kind of cozy scent. Um, plum, yes, I do get plum. Current, I get less of, but I, I mostly get that plum. This one's just really nice. It's very, to my nose, very feminine. Um, it was, it's beautiful in bedrooms. I think this is a very nice bedroom bar. I don't know how it would do in an open space. If you've done it in an open space, let us know below how it did. Um, but for me, I've only used it in bedrooms and I really like it. It's one of those ones that does kind of putter along for two or three days, um, but it's quite light. So it's maybe like a medium at peak, but it's mostly like a three or four out of 10 for most of the warming, which for a bedroom is quite a nice background scent. And I don't mind that at all. Um, overall, I would repurchase Black Current and Plum. We enjoy that one. Next is one that didn't make it for spiced apples, but I wanted to warm anyways. And then Amelia saw the bar in my melting basket and she was like, I want that one. So we did this in her room. This is Jack's Obsession. We did two cubes. And this one is like green apples and like clove and cinnamon. And this one's just good. It's a nice, well-balanced, and some people don't love this one, and I don't understand because I love this one. Um, okay, some people get like a soapy apple. I can kind of get that, but mostly I get like a sour tart green apple um, with cinnamon and just a little bit of clove. The clove is not overpowering here. It's mostly cinnamon. I just love it. It's nice and tart and sweet and cozy and warm, very inviting. So we did this in her room. She really enjoyed it. She likes apple scents, so that was fun. And it's got Jack on the packaging too. So there's that one. Performance wise, this one does nicely for me. It's about an average performer. Um, I would say medium strength, medium duration, like nothing. It's kind of very middle of the road as far as performance goes, but it's a very nice scent. So I like that one. 
then in our bedroom, aside from spiced apple scents, what did I do in our room? Yeah, I did Wizarding World in our room, so I put that in the wrong stack. This didn't go in the office, this went in our bedroom. So I had it in the wrong stack. That is the only one of today's video that's scentsy related that I did in our bedroom. Everything else has been spiced apples that you'll see on Thursday. Um, but I did, I did do a few vendor wax items. Oh, nope, I also did opal flowers. So this is a sample that Sara sent from New Zealand, and this is, I, th I think this is available in Region 3 and Region 2. It's a pretty light green wax, and it's called Opal Flowers. It was a scent of the month, and it's in their current catalog, and the scent is Raspberry and Lily. And it was a very pretty light scent, but it was like the perfect bedroom scent, because it's not overpowering floral. It was just pretty, and I can't smell it in the bag anymore. I would say it was like a sweet, slightly fruity floral, very pretty very feminine, very soft, um, not an overpowering floral. That fruitiness balanced it out nicely. Overall, I would definitely purchase Opal Flowers if we got it in North America. Um, I really like that one. So that was a good one. Very light. I would keep it just bedrooms or smaller rooms only, but very, very pretty. So thank you, Zara, for that one. Then I did a sa uh, like sample size tester thing. I got in a Vintage Chic Sense um, tester bag thing they do. They on Etsy, you can order like what do they call them? Grab bags or mystery bag? Mystery bags. You can order mystery bags. So this was in a mystery bag. This is Cozy Jackie O's Sugar Cookies. So rich vanilla bean cake baked with warm spices and topped with whipped marshmallows and sugar cookies. This one was very nice. So this one, can't smell it in the bag. It was a cozy sugar cookie scent and it had just like the tiniest bit of toasty warm spices. It smelled like cinnamon buns to my nose because it had just a bit of cinnamon to it and it had like a frostiness, like a cream cheese frostiness to it. It was very rich, very decadent. The marshmallowiness added a sweetness. I do like her marshmallow note. It is different than Sensi's marshmallow note. I think I prefer Sensi's marshmallow note, but overall I loved this scent. I would repurchase this um, or at least hope for it in another mystery bag. But yes, J Cozy Jackie O's Sugar Cookies was a win in my book and this one went a couple days as well. It was like a smallish chunk of wax. It was like a little like rosebud type thing, I think. Um, maybe the size of like one and a half cubes of Scentsy, but it went a while. It went like two, two and a half days. So no complaints there, love that one. And this one was stronger than expected. So when I first got the mystery bags, I was kind of thinking these are not very strong, um, but they're curing quite nicely. And now, yes, they're very strong. So the performance on this was not an issue at all. Loved that. And then my very, very sweet and dear friend, Becky, had sent me some goodies. And I did film a video of those goodies, but then it was too long, because it was like an hour long video. And then I couldn't upload it to my phone to actually upload it to YouTube. So I'm gonna have to sit and refilm that at some point, even though I've used some of the wax already. So I'm gonna have to try to find a way to shorten that video or refilm it much quicker <laughs> than an hour because um, I really took my time going through it so I'll have to like just kind of find a way to make it work so I can upload that but Becky sent me the sweetest most generous care package um, just of nice vendor waxes to try and things like that so one of the ones I did in the bedroom was from Sassy Girl Aromas and it was Doughboy Bakery so this one is waffle cone sugar cookie birthday cake marshmallow ice cream ice cream scoop bread I don't know what ice cream scoop bread is but it's probably a thing um, so Doughboy Bakery. This one is just like a nice, sweet bakery. Like when you think bakery scent, this is like your classic quintessential bakery scent. It's just good. It's just really, really good. Like I can't say what I'm picking out as individual notes. It's a lot of vanilla and a lot of bakery. Just a lot of bakeriness. It's not a heavy bakery. It's a very vanilla -y bakery. I really liked this. This was a one day scent. I did two cubes in the bedroom but very, very pleasant, very decadent, very delicious. And weirdly enough, I've been like craving bakery in the bedroom lately. Again, with the uh, Jackie O sugar cookie. Um, yeah, I don't usually do bakery in the bedroom, but felt like it. This one was fantastic. So this is Harper James Wax Country Pear. This was also from Becky. Um, so this is pear, Earl Grey tea, honey, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Now, this is Harper James, and I did one of these cubes in the bedroom. It's about the size of maybe two or two and a half cubes of Scentsy. Maybe two cubes. Two cubes. This one is so nice. So this one is like a very clean pear. Um, a similar pear note to Perfect Day from Scentsy. However, 
where I don't care for Perfect Day. I love this. This one has that Earl Grey tea. So instead of, and it does have spice, but somehow the spice in here does not overtake anything. Like you barely notice the spice. It's a very clean, soft, fresh pear. It's like a, yeah, it's like a sweet, clean, crisp pear with, you do get honey because there's some sweetness there. Um, Earl Grey tea, you don't smell, oh yes, that's Earl Grey tea, but you definitely get the impression of Earl Grey tea. And the nutmeg and cinnamon are such a backseat thing. I think it just adds a bit of depth. Like it, you can't smell, you can't really smell spice when you smell these. It's just a very pretty scent. And the performance on this was insane. This went for like three days, just with the one cube, loved. And like strong at first. And then maybe when I took it out, it was like done, but like, it was like a good solid performer the entire way through. And then it kind of hit the wall, but loved, love, love, love. So if you ever see Country Pear from Harper James Wax available, I would highly recommend it if you like pear scents, which I do. Then on to the open layout. So one of the things I did this week was warm pumpkin drizzle. I did a full bar. This is the October scent of the month. And the notes on this one are like pineapple, which is an odd one for a fall bar. And then it's got like, I think maple glaze or something like that. I'll put the notes below. It's good. So on cold, this one was confusing to me because I didn't dislike it. It just, I didn't know what to do with this one. Because like the pineapple was very smellable and it wasn't what you expect. When you see a warm pumpkin drizzle, I expect to see like a very bakery, kind of deep brown sugary pumpkin bakery scent. That is not what this is. So get that out of your head. Um, this is a fresher pumpkin, kind of like the same pumpkin from like um, Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Not like Very Perry Pumpkin, <laughs> thank goodness. Um, it's a little bit like Perfect Pumpkin Pear, but it is not as fresh and pumpkin-y as that one. It, this isn't squashy. This one is, I don't know that you would even know it's pumpkin. Like it's, I get almost pear, but it's the pineapple that I'm smelling. Um, this one was very nice. It's like a sweet bakery dessert. It's like a fruity baked pumpkin pear type dessert with like a sugar drizzle. It's nice. It's a nice solid bakery scent. It's very sweet, very pleasant. We had company, they liked this one as well. Um, yeah, it's about, I would say a medium strength, one day type scent, um, overall average performer. Is it one that's a must have for me? No, do I like it? I sure do. It's quite nice, it's got a place in my collection. And I kind of appreciate that they didn't go full fall heavy bakery with this because we have a few of those this year. We have the ones in the general catalog and then we have maple rum cake, which isn't a pumpkin scent, but it is kind of that fall heavy bakery. So they went a bit of a different direction with this and I'm okay with that. Um, it's not bad. I like it, I'll use the rest of my bars. I'm not gonna club it or anything, but overall very pleasant. And if you like fall bakery scents, I think there's no harm in picking up a bar to see if you enjoy it. Then in the open layout, I had done four cubes from Sara of Orchard Sunrise. And this is one of the bars we did in our swap. So I got this one in our swap. Um, so this is four cubes I did. And I usually do a full bar in the open layout, but she had warned me and a couple other people had warned me that this one is a very strong bar. And so I only did half a bar. I did one cube in each warmer and decided to see how we do and left it at that. And I'm glad I only did one cube in each warmer because this is strong. Um, this was plenty strong with just half a bar. So this is a very strong apple scent. I get apple peel specifically. Um, there's definitely a dose of orange here and it's like orange zest. Like it's a little bit bitter almost, which makes this feel a little bit like fallish and cidery. Um, so the orange in here is not bright orange. It's not sweet orange. It is like a bitter zesty orange and it's nice. This is a very nice fall scent. Um, very fruity, very bright, no spice here, but it almost smells like there's spice because of that bitter orange note. So it is very bitter and that can kind of read as spicy, but there's actually no spice here at all, especially once it's warming. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I would love to see us get this in North America. It's a fantastic, especially early fall scent. Really enjoyed this and fantastic performer. Um, it was like not overly long lasting, but crazy strong like full 24 hours it lasted. So it was about average in duration. 
but like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10 in strength. Like super strong, even with half a bar. Then I did two more samples from my friend Becky. And she had sent me some Harper James samples, more of those cubes, the same size cubes as the pear one. So there was two in each bag. So I did one in each warmer. And I had these in the same space, not in the same warmer. So I did two on one side of the open layout, two on the other side of the open layout. So on the kitchen side, we had pumpkin pretzel latte, which is white chocolate, pumpkin butter, pretzel, toasted marshmallow, and graham cracker. And this one is very good. So you do get pretzel, but there's a bit of a coffee note as well. Yeah, this one was good. You, you got a little bit of all of it. Like you got some graham cracker to this. Pumpkin butter, I'm not so sure. But pretzel, marshmallow, and graham cracker, and coffee a little bit. Yeah, this was very, very nice. Um, I would say medium strength and average duration, but very, very enjoyable. This one was a standout. This is salty pumpkin. This was pumpkin, salted pretzel, maple, and sugar cookie. So salty sounded odd to me, but I was like, yeah, let's try it. Because it smelled great on cold and amazing. Like, so good. Okay, so salty is hard to do well because salty could go very, very wrong in fragrance. Um, this was exactly right. So you do get pumpkin, salted pretzel, yes, a very nice salted pretzel. Maple, not overdone, very sweet, not burny, not overly done. I wouldn't have identified maple as being in here, just very sweet. Um, sugar cookie, maybe, like it was just kind of, it's a very sweet scent. But that salted pretzel note, it's like buttery and salty and delicious. I love this. I would get all kinds more of this. This was fantastic. So these two together are similar enough because they both have that pretzel note, which is why I chose them to melt in the same space. Um, that was fantastic. That was really, really enjoyable. It was a really good pick me up on a rough day. And so I enjoyed that very much. So thank you, Becky. And I need to figure out how to get more Harper James because I don't think she ships to Canada. Um, I went to her website to try to order and it looked like you couldn't put a Canadian shipping address in. So I'll have to message her and find out what, what she's doing there. But, but yes, loved. If you live in the US, highly recommend, especially Salty Pumpkin, but both were amazing. And then on the weekend, I had done a mix that Becky suggested. And that is, and she has a channel, by the way, Becky Hen, H-E-N-N, -N, on YouTube here. Go check her out. She's got some really cool, like, homesteady type videos and, like, she cans and gardens and does all kinds of cool stuff. So I did Caramel Pear Crisp with Gimme Candy. And it was equal mixes in the same warmer, one to one. So one cube Gimme Candy, one cube car Caramel Pear Crisp in the same warmer, all over the open layout. Um, so four cubes of each total really good. So this one you have to be in the mood for because for me, caramel pear crisp is a scent I just have to be in the mood for, but this was the day. Yes, this one is a very strong, very rich. I smell peach cobbler, but it's like almost like a peach pear cobbler. You get like a very gooey baked fruit type note and some oat and like just this like caramely goodness. And then mix that with Gimme Candy, which is kind of like caramely to begin with. Oh, this was good. This was really good and super strong. Filled the space, no problem. Um, and it was, how long was this one? This one was more than a day. This was a two day scent. So yeah, that was really good. Performance on this was better than average and strength was through the roof. It was amazing. So if you have access to car Caramel Pear Crisp or Caramel Pear Crisp, highly recommend. I have this one in my club, love it. Give me candy. We know this one's good with pretty much everything. Love it. That was a fantastic mix. Highly recommend that mix. So thank you, Becky. Um, next, I did a bar of apple s'mores. In my swap with Sara, I had gotten another bar of apple s'mores because they recently had it in region three for Bring Back My Bar. Um, I hope we get it in region one here for Bring Back My Bar soon because it is a fantastic fall scent. Love it. Um, so I used up my bar that I already had. So I now have another bar from Sara. So I used up this one. So this one is woodsy and sweet and fruity and cozy. The marshmallow here really wins the day. Like this one is a fantastic, not overly sweet scent, given that there's marshmallow in it because the woodsy notes really balance it and make it kind of earthy and cozy. This is just a great scent. Like it is so unique. I have never smelled anything like this scent anywhere else ever. Like this is unique. 
Um, so if you ever see apple s'mores in voting for Bring Back My Bar, I highly recommend voting this one back. Next, I did a couple more samples from Sassy Girl Aroma from Becky. So we did, she had sent four cubes, like Sassy Girl Aroma comes in like big brick brittle things. So I got like four cubes of each of these scents. And so this one is pumpkin creamer and it is cashew creamer, pumpkin, brown sugar, and nutmeg. And then sawdust days, which was one of Becky's favorites. So I'm very honored she shared it. This one is caramel apple, cotton candy, salted brown sugar, vanilla, and kettle corn. So again, with that salty sweet thing, it's almost like a caramel apple scent with like a salty sweet thing going on. This one was amazing. So yeah, sawdust days, I get it. This one was through the roof. Amazing. Loved. Love, love. Pumpkin creamer, also delicious. I would buy more of both of these scents for sure. Um, but sawdust days was a standout. Like caramel apple scents are so good, especially this time of year. Sawdust Days was a special caramel apple because it's caramel apple with that salty note and the kettle corn. And you don't smell kettle corn. Like it doesn't smell like popcorn. It was like just salty, sweet caramel apple goodness. It was amazing. So those two together was lovely. I did these ones. I did two cubes in each warmer of my living room side of the open layout. And then pumpkin creamer, I did two cubes in each of the warmers on that side of the open layout. So they kind of were in separate spaces, but kind of met in the middle. And it was very, very nice. Um, Sawdust Days is going to be a favorite. Like I'm going to have to get more of that one. Um, but Pumpkin Creamer would be a repurchase as well. So those were fantastic. So thank you, Becky. Next, we had a day where I think it was rainy. Yeah, it was like a cloudy kind of like just kind of cool day. And so I thought it would be a good day to bust out cozy chai. So this was one I wasn't sure if I was going to get to this month. I've actually made great progress on my September melting basket this month. Um, this one was good. My husband enjoyed this one too. Um, he commented on it, which he doesn't normally do. This one's good. It was, how would you describe this? Creamy. Um, I didn't smell any coffee or tea, but you do get a lot of the spices. It was creamy and spicy and you get like, not cinnamon spice. It's like, cardamom and maybe I don't know what else I don't know cardamom I think for sure I'm trying to think if there's anise in here or not I don't think so not that I can smell um maybe nutmeg like I can't quite ident identify the exact spices but chai spices is what's in here um very very nice this one is a two-dayer as well really enjoyed that so yes would recommend cozy chai and I hope we see this one back at some point Good performer, like I said, longer than average duration. And it was like a seven out of 10, like nice performance in the open layout. So liked that one a lot. And then this one was, this was nice. This is Honey Pear Cider. I've been hanging onto this bar because I love this scent. I have not had good luck performance wise with it in the past. Um, this bar has been sitting just over a year and it is like the most like cheerful, uplifting scent. And it's very fall without being spicy, without being heavy, without being bakery. It is a fruity fall scent, but it's like bordering on bakery because it's like poached pears that have kind of caramelized in the oven. So it's not like there's any added sugar and there's no added bakery stuff here. It's like poached naturally caramelized pears and their own sugars. And it's just nice like it's just warm and inviting and cheerful and happy it's just a good scent um my issue with this scent in the past has been performance i've always found it very light like very short duration i think last year this was like a five hour type scent for me and like light at best this time i don't know if like curing helped this one but this one did fantastic this time like surprisingly well it was a six or seven out of 10. So like medium to medium, like I'd say a solid medium, like a generous medium is what it was strength wise. And it lasted like a full 24 hours. So no complaints there. That's a nice average length of scent. And it was so, so, so good. This was so nice. So I was so glad to get such good performance from this. If this one ages this well, I would want more of this. I think I have maybe another bar of this, um, but love, love, love. So I'm glad that one did well this time. I'm not sure, like I know I've done multiple bars of this in the past and they've all been very light in short duration. So I'd kind of written the scent off, but I threw this in and I was pleasantly surprised this time. So that was great. 
And that is what I've warmed over the last little while. So thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.